The Victorian Electoral Commission has referred opposition leader Matthew Guy to YBAC over a deal that his now former chief of staff wanted to do to top up his salary with an undeclared political donation. It was a deal, of course, that never actually happened. But Labor gets what it wants here. It gets headlines that make Guy look as dodgy and as IBAC compromised as the Premier clearly is. Now, let's be straight. There's no moral equivalence between what a foolish staffer wanted to do but was stopped by Matthew Guy from doing and the multiple delinquencies of the Andrews government. Interestingly, in a statement today, the Victorian Electoral Commission notes, and I quote, that the VEC is not in a position to allege wrongdoing. So hang on, if they can't say there's been wrongdoing, why refer it then to IBAC? We're in the middle of an election campaign. They say they can't allege wrongdoing, yet they're now making a headline story out of this non-story with a referral to IBAC. Now, forgive me, I smell a bit of a rat here. And there's this too. Look at this tweet. Late yesterday, the Victorian Electoral Commissioner, so the bloke in charge of the elections, announces just days out from polling He's taking a leave of absence from tomorrow for a health matter. Now, I wish him all the best, but the questions just keep mounting, don't they?